Welcome into the Heroes International. My name is Bahamut, joined by Bandit, as you can hear in the background. And we are getting into Battlefield of Eternity for map number one in day number two of our qualifier. Now this is the uh, this is day number two, which means we are in the double elimination bracket. We are starting out in the upper bracket with 30k versus Imagine. There is another matchup happening right now as well on some other streams, and that is the Anti Clan Association versus. Uh, let me quickly look because I forgot Diamond Hands. Anti Clan Association versus Diamond Hands. Um, I don't know specifically what stream that is on, but I'm sure you can you can find it through Twitch if you want to look for it. But either way. We have Battlefield here. We have 30k on the left. Imagine in, on the right. This is I'm excited about this. I'm excited about this. I always I always it's it's like that first game excitement. I always I always love this. But we have some tank ban priorities coming out from the side of a 30k looking to um, focus down maybe specifically I think it was Brandon who would probably be the main tank. No, he played was he main tanking at the end of the season? I'm trying to remember. Gosh. <laughs> I can't remember. It cause no, I think he was still in ranged assassin. I don't who is it Fatal Rampage or JTR maybe who are tanking? I know Breakwood is typically a, a ranged assassin. Zadie typically is a healer. That'll be a 30k uh, Hanzo to kick things off. Jazzy, okay, yeah. So there you go, Jazzy. So yeah, Jazzy also Jazzy will be having the other side of the bracket if you do want to uh, take a look at that. Alrighty, so a Hanzo first pick for 30k. Uh, who are back on their full roster. It's going to be a Lee Ming and a Brightwing. Oh, right. Does JTR have, like, a really disgusting Lee Ming, I think? I think JTR does. Yeah, there's so many games right now, Nancy. There's so much Here's the Storm today. It's going to be... It's a great day of Here's the Storm. I'm curious how long the uh, the EU games have been going on for. I didn't. I didn't look and see... I don't know what their start time is off the top of my head. Okay. Hanzo, Muradin, Blaze, not bad. Uh, big, big chain CC. Uh, big chain CC uh, potential coming out from just the, the trio that's been grabbed here. We could see a healer ban priority coming out, or it could just be something that... Uh, yeah. I was gonna say they. Could, I was like. I was like. They could ban out like a race hero, but like realistically, choking out the uh, the, the healer pool is probably the best direction. Six hours so far. Yowie. Six hours, huh? It's a long day. All right. So Anduin, uh, the opposing side could just see another tank ban, honestly, coming out from the side of 30k. Uh, that wouldn't be a bad ban. Get rid of the Garrosh is an option. Uh, Muradin's already been banned away. Genji, actually. Okay. They want to get rid of the double reset potential of Li Ming and Genji. Brightwing would play really, really well into just locking someone down for Li Ming Genji as well. 30k is running the same roster. They won CCL. Uh, I think so, yes. I do believe so. Victory. Ooh. Okay, we get break with Sylvanas. And it will be a variant. Okay. But this could be this could be a solo lane variant or it could be a main tank. This is kind of a little bit of a flex uh, variant as you can kind of go into different directions when it comes uh, to his level fours. So we can actually see an adjustment from the draft on the side of Imagine. Because the assumption is that it's solo lane into Blaze. Could grab like a Leork for that. Drain the Blaze, try and uh, win out in the 1v1. Technically no beak it. Oh yeah, that's true. I will fight to my last breath. Core five is the same. Chromie and Rhaegar, eh? That looks like a scary composition from 30k. I'll be honest, that looks like they can really just one two punch. Uh what's this last pick though from the side of uh Imagine? Are they gonna be looking at a different tank? Are they gonna Okay, so it's Imperious Solo Lane. Okay, alright. I like this. I like both of these drafts quite a bit. I think the burst ability from either side is very, very high. 
uh, the CC potential. I, the, like these, both of these drafts check all the boxes for team fighting, for macro. The wave clear is a little bit slower in the solo lane for the Imperius versus the Blaze, so Blaze might be able to force the Imperius back a little bit. Might see rotation out from Brightwing, Li Ming, or uh, Sylvanas or something. So, either way, let's go ahead and I'll swap it over to the casting screen. Let me go ahead and start our gamble. Let's get some Twitch prediction going here. Gamble time, ladies and gentlemen, on which team will win Battlefield of Eternity. Immediate jump onto 30k. I want to see if there's the same if there's the same confidence as yesterday of someone putting 30k on 30k. I am curious if we'll see that that confidence come out from from anyone. Or if we'll even have anyone that believes in Imagine. But both of these compositions, as I said, very, very good. They check all the boxes, in my opinion. Uh, it's it's going to come down to... It's really going to come down to just the actual team fighting. I think that's the big thing here, of course. And you can always say that for any map, realistically. But it's just like... The, so the solo lane, I think, Liam... Like, will be winning out the solo lane up against the Imperius. But I still think that the team fight with the Imperius on the opposing side could be really strong. We'll find out what happens here as we've got another minute or so on the gamble. And I'll introduce the teams 30k in the blue. Liam on the Blaze. We've got Kier on the Hanzo. Uh, Cattle on the Muradin. Legacy on the Rhaegar. And Chromie to be played by Madara. Over on the right-hand side, we are looking at Imagine. We have got Fatal Rampage on the Imperius. We've got Brandon on that Varian. JTR on the Li Ming. Zadie on the Brightwing. And Breakwood to play the Sylvanas. Thank you all for the follows. Glad you're enjoying the content. Much appreciate the support. Let's see here. Oh, there was a little bit of a rotation in the top lane. Oh, I went, oh they were floating in mid because they wanted to see if uh, Breakwood would maybe go into top lane and try and push things up with a uh, Sylvanas raw push at the beginning of the game. So 30k just kind of in the middle of the map waiting to see what does happen. And unfortunately, well, not for unfortunately, but ooh, Brandon getting chunked right there. But fortunately, it's not going to be anything like that. So no forced rotation into solo lane. Brandon's still getting a l low here. Cattle lands on their Stormbolt. That's really good damage in from Cure on the Hanzo. Really popping off right now. Looking a lot more confident on this range assassin rather than having to play Leoric yesterday. Legacy with some real early aggression. JTR answers back with an arcane orb to the face as we have Liam just kind of hanging around. Uh, Imperius did go for the burn the Imperius, so this is going to be his way of kind of battling the blaze. But as I had mentioned, I, I, I like even though... Fatal Rampage might be able to chunk Liam. The big thing here is going to be the actual wave clear potential. But when we take a look at bottom lane, we have another fight breaking out around the camp. Actually, it's not going to yield a fight at all. I thought it was going to be an invade, a big explosive fight. But Imagine backs away and plays things safe. Varian's not a real boy until level 4. Indeed. And he's definitely going taunt with this level 1 Lion's Maw. Synergistic because of the available setup and chase potential. Also offering in some big sustained chase ability. Hmm, wording on that one. I got, I, I got excited for 30k as they were potentially getting the kill onto Brandon. Really good uh, jump in. Jumps in from Cattle on the Muradin. Doing a great job of just kind of playing out of vision and playing from this top side of the lane. And landing those point blank storm boats into the enemy team's face. Peeking back into top lane, there's that Li Ming rotating to top lane to try and push things back up for Fatal Rampage. And Liam, as I had mentioned, he is going to get chunked by that level 1, but his wave clear is faster. And he's also, as you can see, slowly but surely taking down structures, or slowly but surely taking down uh, the gate in the top lane. Hmm. Murden rotating into top lane, just showing vision really quickly for Imperius. Hey, Wildfire, what's up, bud? Happy Sunday. Happy Sunday to everybody. Okay, so just jumping around the vision really quickly as we're getting ready for our first objective phase. We do have Hanzo Chromie grabbing the camp on the left-hand side. Sylvanas, Breakwood, waiting. This is, this is a great example of the timing. You don't want to grab these camps too early. The reason being, we talk about this often, is when it gets into lane... Or, uh, when, yeah, when the Immortals are spawning and when the camp is actually getting the lane. So, as you can see, the Immortals are spawning, the camp is just now getting into lane for both sides. This means that someone is going to have to back away from the Immortal phase, maybe the second half, to go clear those waves. 
that might be the turning point for one of these teams to invade over the Immortal or to look for a team fight with the offset. Brightwing in the bottom clearing, Blaze in the top clearing. 4v4 currently. And Blaze actually, ooh, is the tower getting shots onto the, oh no, it's just, yeah, the tower is getting shots onto the Fallen Shaman, so Liam immediately leaves the lane and tries to jump in to help out the allies for a potential kill or a potential team fight around the Immortal phase. First one of the game, we do have Li Ming starting to put in some damage here and there. I think Kira might have eaten a little bit of that as well. Breakwood starting to do the exact same thing. Kira gets a good scatter into the enemy team. 14 stacks on him right now. Imperius getting a little bit low. Cattle. There's going to be a uh, charge in from the Varian. Liam is alive today. Oh, I wonder, where, uh, I wonder where Liam was yesterday, Day. Hmm. I wonder where Liam was. Hmm. <laughs> Both teams going to race the Immortal down, and it is going to be the members of 30k getting first Immortal going into top lane. Reason being, bottom lane's already got the gate down. Liam only... Ah, oh, yeah, really. Liam got a lot of value in this top lane. Almost took down one of the uh, towers, which the Immortal will guarantee take it down. I mean, a, a, a Stormbolt from, from Muradin would be enough. A singular Abathur slap would be enough right here. Absolutely. A singular Abathur slap. Maybe two. Probably two Abathur slaps. Face shift from Brightwing will connect on to Brandon. Zadie keeping the Varian alive. The Immortal moving into melee range as he just loses his shielding. And we'll see the taunt from Varian onto Blaze. Cleanse out from Rhaegar. Legacy coming in clutch right there for Liam. As Breakwood has to back away, getting low as well. A little bit of chain healing coming out. Murden with the Dwarf Toss out. Varian with another charge. Taunt just now coming off a cooldown. Scatter finished out from the Hanzo level 1. And the Immortal gets quite a bit of value here in top lane. We're looking at about 75% uh, of the top lane for it to fall or to go down. Stormbolt shy of JTR. Legacy getting a little bit low. Breakwood with the Haunting Wave back. A taunt was already used. Five second cooldown onto that. Liam on the blaze in bottom lane. He's going to be able to sneak down here and grab this camp. And he won't be showing. Breakwood going to be hearthing back for full mana. So we know that there's a Rhaegar rotation coming into this top lane, and Brandon's far down the lane trying to get this kill onto Madara. Sadie with a phase shift right now. Is there... There's Actually, it's no level 13, so no mortal wound from very... Er, oh, what am I even thinking? I'm switching things around. God dang it. I need more tea. Ah, oh, yes, the Varian takes mortal wound to use mortal wound on himself. All right. I think I need to get to my second cup of tea a lot faster. Good cleanse out from Rhaegar right there. Legacy and friends are able to find the kill. Nice uh, nice shot from Mato right there. And with the kill on to Varian and him dead for the next 14 seconds. 30k are chasing beyond the fort. They want JTR. The slowing sands are out. That's a lot of damage. The jet propulsion point blank. And that is Li Ming to fall as well. Immortal phase coming through in just a moment. I gotta wake up today, man. The funny thing is, like, the stream, when we finish the stream, I'll be, like, so wired from, from doing all the casting all day that I, I won't be tired anymore. <laughs> all right, we got 10 talents here at the top of our screen, so as we always do, let's cycle through the numbers. Immortal phase is going to be here. Uh, pretty standard heroics. Blaze holding? I don't see a world where, where, where Liam takes uh, combustion. But we have been seeing more combustion lately. I, I don't think Liam. Yeah, I don't think Liam takes combustion ever. Yeah. Uh, invade onto the camp. Murden gets in here just in time. Storm. Oh my God. Dragon arrow. I gotta say, 30k are playing a lot, a lot better today with their core roster. Wow. That steal onto the camp was wild. And that's a fully shielded immortal into bottom lane. This is looking, this is looking scary for the side of Imagine. I can't spend my bandit bucks to wake you up. Oh, no, I, we'll, we'll get there. Thank you, though. We're just, we're just, we're just slow to start a little bit today. Just a little slow start today. All right, the immortal is going to be dealing 618 standard damage, 1,236 into structures with a 
massive shield as well. That shield means that Alarian is going to attack from range up until that shield is taken down. So until then, Breakwood and JTR need to just kind of poke in some damage a little bit from Fatal Rampage as well as Brandon and Zadie. But this Immortal is still 50% on the shielding. Full HP is starting to take down, starting to uh, deal damage to the keep. Jet Propulsion from Blaze eaten by the Taunt of Brandon. Wailing Arrow from Sylvanas, but it feels more like a zoning tool than anything. Cattle gets into the back line, getting some good harassment. Brandon does finish out his level one, and that's the spin from the Immortal pushing Brandon back. We have an arrow from Cure, narrowly missing. And this is 30k. They want to they wanna take a fast battlefield of Eternity map, and whoa, JTR getting chunked by Cure with the angle off the core. That's a lot of damage onto the Muradin, who does get abducted. Bunker down from the Blaze. We can't get... Uh, into the bunker quick enough. The Immortal is starting to fall here. The core is losing some HP. That is going to be Blaze to fall. And the Immortal gets, what, 25% off the core? And two members die on the side of 30k. I mean, 25%, the keep, a little bit of damage on the core. That's not... Oh, God, really? Did you see that, everybody? Madara had one more sand blast. And I don't know if that was intended or not, but that was that was beautifully done to interrupt the, uh, the hearth out from Varian. I, th I honestly thought we were going to have, like, a sub-nine-minute battlefield map. I really did. And then Cattle went crazy deep into the back line. <laughs> All right. Hey, Ninja, what's up, bud? Happy Sunday. Happy Sunday, my friend. So 30k will grab a camp for top lane. Imagine or half a level away from their uh, 13 talent. Modera sets up a time trap behind the allies just to prevent any sort of flank. Or to get vision of a potential flank. That is a jet propulsion right in front of the gate. Cure goes for the scatter off the gate, but it doesn't connect into Brandon, I think. Arcane orbs being thrown out by JTR as Varian goes out for the taunt onto Cattle. But still, it's Brandon who's going to be taking damage. And Kata looks absolutely fine right now. The Immortal Phase still uh, coming up. 15 seconds. Kata just budget juicing. Oh, wait. Hold on. They're playing out of vision, aren't they? That trap that was set up earlier almost kills the Varian. We have a Slowing Sands from Chromie in this sort of uh, pinch point, which is really, really, really nice to just stop the enemy from advancing and allows cattle and crew to play and poke in as they want to. Celestial Charge onto the Muradin. Archine Orbs just not connecting right now from JTR. They're just slightly out of range. Muradin pops the Avatar, but it's a lot of damage onto Brandon. Huge arrow from Hanzo. Zadie gets the blink away, but Varian still falls. Fatal Rampage gets the abduction with the Wrath of Injuris, but the Ancestor healing comes through from Legacy. It's a triple kill. With that, yeah, I think this is 30k. They mount up, they run bottom, they take map number one. Absolutely, absolutely dominant game from, from 30k in map number one. I will say this though, imagine showing some signs of life. They got a couple kills earlier. But this is going to be map one over the side of 30k who are just looking so dominant here in our first best of three of the day in the day two qualifier for the Heroes International. Got to tag NGS in my Twitter post today. That's 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 what's been in my brain. <laughs> Choose outcome. Which team wins Battlefield? Thirty K. GG. 
I don't know if I told you how great Nancy is. No, you, you didn't. You should, you should tell us more about how amazing Nancy is. You should enter, Chip. All right, we got another lobby. We're keeping it, we're keeping it thematic, everybody. We're keeping it thematic. We're going to uh, Infernal Shrines. Infernal Shrines will be map number two. Get the prediction preset. Uh, looks like we need a little lobby management, but that'll be happening soon. Hey, Celexia, what's up? Slash lobby link 30k versus uh, I have a new friend request. Do I have room on my friends list? I do. Blushing. <laughs> uh, thank you for the follow. I appreciate that. Glad you're enjoying the content. All right, uh, players are on the right sides. I'm just gonna say, uh, Baja R Spooky Worm. Y'all, y'all are nice. Y'all are just being really like nice today. I'm loving it. I'm loving the. I'm loving the energy today. Uh, but we, I think we have the readies from both teams. Yep, yeah, there it is. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Heroes International. We are here in qualifier number one, day number two. We're in our double elimination bracket. We have the members of 30k on the left-hand side. And imagine on the right, the members of uh, 30k are trying to make this a quick 2-0 and move up or move through the upper bracket into uh, the winner bracket final, which is gonna be a best of five. This series right here is a best of three. So after this, we'll be uh, we'll be seeing the lower bracket. We'll be, uh, yeah, we have, we have a lot of great games today. We've got a lot of great games today. So I hope you're ready for all of this as we have a Blaze band to kick things out. They do not want to deal with Liam's Blaze again, and I cannot blame them. Wisdom 30k, wisdom 30k, wisdom 30k. Rob, all I'm saying, Rob, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta take that emote and you gotta put it on BTTV and then you can, then, then I can add it to my channel and people can add it to their channel and then you can just spam it wherever you want. Well, not wherever, but you know what I mean. Anyways. Uh, target ban onto the Zadie Brightwing. Okay, all right. I mean, Infernal Shrine's a fantastic map for Brightwing. AoE cleanses are really strong. Critical Miss Zero is really, really good uh, pickup as well. Lucio to be banned away. No Lucio play today, or at least in Infernal Shrines. And uh, is it going to be another tank? Are they going to target any tanks again? Or how do I do that to BTTV? Uh, you literally you go to just BTTV. You go to like you log in. You go to your dashboard. You can and you can just like upload emotes. It's 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 super super easy if you just go to BTTV the website you you like you'll you'll be able to easily find it for sure. A hogger first pick, eh? Fantastic hero for infernal shrines, being able to clear camps, being able to clear the objective phase. Uh, strong just in general, good wave clear, good heroics as well, good scaling throughout the game. Late game with the no control is also a fantastic tool. Where's the Chogal? Under the couch, yeah. The Chogal is under the couch. And uh, maybe, maybe, maybe 30k will uh, pop that Chogal. No, they're definitely not going to pop that Chogal because they grab a Joanna Rhaegar. Probably, it's such a it's such a strong start. I mean, Legacy's Rhaegar is, is fantastic, So, and I, and I like seeing him on it. So it gives him also some opportunities to, to play an assassin-type role. Uh, Joanna in general, I mean, she's she's uh, just a well-rounded tank. Great, great tank for this map. You're on it? Hell yeah, Rob. Once you get it uploaded, let me know. Like, feel free to post the link and I can just add it immediately. For the of 
I like supporting my friends. I like supporting my friends' organizations. Uh, Junkrat Anduin. Okay, so Cho'Gall for Imagine. Okay, Cho'Gall for Imagine for sure. Uh, ban phase though, realistically, mm, they still need a main tank, so we could see a tank priority ban. Um, something like a Diablo would be a nice ban. Muradin's not a bad ban either. Uh, oh, Diablo's already banned, sorry. Uh, Anubarak's not a bad ban as well. Stitches, eh? Oh, actually, no, that's right. Stitches would be fantastic here. I mean, the Skeletal Defenders get in the way of some of the hooks, but, like, Hook, Leap of Faith, Junkrat Traps and stuff, like, that'd be that'd be rough. So, yeah, that's a, that's a nice heads-up ban coming out from 30k. Really, really like that ban coming out from them. Smart. Smart from Cure. Uh, on the opposing side, could get... I was gonna say could get rid of something that's that strong for a map like this. I was actually thinking maybe uh, maybe Modera's Chromie, but it will be the Mephisto to be banned away. Alrighty, so they still could go like Chromie. They could still go Hanzo, uh, and they could pick up like oh well, that's also a good option as well. Uh, thanks for the follow. Glad you're enjoying the content. Take us and what else do you want to pair into this? Okay. Liam's gonna get his URL. Oh, Her Heroes Lounge. Heroes Lounge. Heroes Lounge, thank you very much for the raid. I very much appreciate that. I assume you were playing some Heroes of the Storm. Let's give you a little shout out there. Thank you, Heroes Lounge, for the raid. Welcome in, Raiders. We are here in the Heroes International. We're in our first best of three of the day. We got a lot of games today, so you are just in time. Thank you again, Heroes Lounge, for uh, bringing all of your fantastic friends over here. Murd and Greymane will round out the draft. A really nice, well-rounded draft for the side of Imagine for map number two in this best of three in the upper bracket of our double elimination bracket. Last pick for the side of 30k. Actually, you could go Cure Zeratul here. You could easily go Cure Zeratul and just... Yeah. I actually would like that a lot. Or Madara Chromi, and then swap the Tychus. Yeah, you could do Madara Chromi, then swap the Tychus for Cure. Yeah. Or swap Cure onto the Tychus. Yeah, that, that works too. That works too. Really, really well. I also just love the idea of Cure Zeratul. That's the other thing too, so... Uh, either way, that is going to be the drafts here. That is going to be the drafts for uh, map number two. I'm just waiting for the stream to catch up a little bit before I start any sort of prediction. Let's go ahead and swap it over to our casting screen while that is going to be counting in. And I will start the prediction of who wins Infernal Shrines. Are you the legendary shadows that everyone's talking about? Oh, we're talking. No, no, no raid shadow legends. No. <laughs> I keep getting like sponsorship at like requests for that. I'm just like, I don't want to do raid shadow legends. I want to just talk about here's the storm, which we're here with 30k in the blue cattle on the Joanna Liam to play the Urel here on the Tychus. We've got Madara on that Chromian legacy on the Rhaegar. Over on the right-hand side with Imagine, trying to take us to a map number three through Infernal Shrines. We've got Fatal Rampage on the Hogger, JTR on the Greymane, Brandon on the Muradin, Breakwood on the Junkrat, and Zadie to play the Anduin. You've got about a minute or so from when you're hearing this to be able to get your predictions in, so get your gambles in, ladies and gentlemen. Get your predictions in. Add to channel. Thank you, Rob. The 30k has been added to the channel. Uh, you might have to F5 the stream to be able to get that, but either way. Thank you. Yeah, I've added it immediately, Rob. Thank you so much. I'm, I, was, I was waiting, like, Tychus instantly activates his minigun, you can tell, because he has that little red glow. He had the little red glow on the tip of his, uh... Machine gun, here comes a, a <laughs> Yorel jumps in with the Righteous Hammer, and then there's a staggering blow from Fatal Rampage, so just bopping people around. First objective will be in the top. We'll see the announcement for that at 2 minute 30. The contestion will start at 3 minutes into the game. So we got 2 minutes of uh, rotations, looking for a couple levels here. Uh, typically when we get into the first objective, we're approaching, if not on level 7. It also really depends on some early game kills. 
Brandon a little forward here, but is able to dwarf toss over the wall and disengage easily. Greymane grabbing the camp on the right. Actually, he'll leash that camp over to Muradin. Greymane going to go clear the mid wave to make sure that he's not missing out on any of the soap. As we have Cattle just continuing to just clear out the bottom lane easily. And also just floating around this bottom area in case any invade onto that camp does happen. Not selling your soul to Rage Shadow Legends uh, made me respect you so much more. <laughs> Thank you. I mean, I'll, I'll do sponsor streams. Oh, Cure. Nice setup from Breakwood right there. Good Stormbolt from Muradin. Brandon with the Stormbolt. Breakwood with the Concussion Mine. Really, really nice one-two punch under Cure. Like I've done like I've done like a sponsored I've done sponsored streams for other stuff like uh, like marbles like if they if they did another sponsored stream for marbles I would jump on that in a heartbeat. Marbles sponsored stream is uh, any day of the week I would do that. Kira's gonna be able to jump onto this uh, camp while Liam continues to soak up the top lane, catching the wave just as Sagar pushed that up. Cattle. Honestly, he could, pro he could probably he could probably play some like Hearthstone. He could probably play some Rage Shadow Legends right now as he's clearing the bottom lane. <laughs> Concussion mine in front of the gate. Modarug is still gonna get blasted over the far side of the wall. Safe, safe for now. And our first shrine will activate here in just a minute. Well, actually, well, thirty seconds, but still. Kira was waiting a second or two to grab that camp, and these will be pushing into the wave, into the lane, uh, a little bit faster from Imagine, but either way, Cattle, stunned out for a second. Easy third dynamite out from the Hoggers, he's going trait build, Greymane doing the same thing. Actually, he's going more Worgen build, actually. Staggering blow from the Hogger. Honk honk. Uh. What's up, Crush, how you doing today, bud? Here does start the objective, Fatal Rampage. Looking for the setup here on the bounce, it looks like. There's the setup. Ah, he doesn't get the uh, the square bounce. Brandon very low does go down. That'll be the first kill for 30k, actually. 30k just now finding their first kill. There's that level seven, as I had mentioned. Both teams trying to get to there, but it's gonna be a little bit faster for the side of 30k. Tychus with the overkill, minigun, he's going to be able to grab this. All right, so first objective, Arcane Punisher top lane. The gate's already down. Liam's already split off to go soak in the bottom lane as Fatal Rampage and friends will just look for something else somewhere else. But Legacy to catch the soak mid. Going to drop the totem. Concussion mine. Legacy might have stepped a little too far out. Runs right into a trap. There's the Stormbolt. Youch. They may get the objective, but that is a that is a rough uh, that's a rough death. They actually get 39 the objective, and they will allowing the Rhaegar to respawn. They'll grab a camp. Nice call from the side of 30k, though. Brandon and friends, I don't think they can get 39 before, because like Kier could just like literally throw in a singular grenade, or Chromie could step right there and throw in one sandblast. So I don't expect this to go over the side of Imagine, but we'll see. Hey Racco, what's up, bud? Doing well. How are we all today? I'm great. I'm also really happy that I, uh, crowd control, it's, I, like, crowd control is baiting something that they're gonna do, like, Donkey Kong Country 2 or something, crowd control. So, I had said that maybe we'll do some, some other retro games. I had a blast playing Star Fox 64. I had so much fun playing Star Fox 64 on Friday. I actually have an easy way to set up Mega Man X, but not for crowd control. So... Happy. We're, we're, we're pretty happy today. Cattle gets the last skeletal defender. There's that arcane punisher for top lane. 10 talent tier right around the horizon. So let's go ahead and check out those other numbers really quickly. 21 stacks for the chromie, just to let you all know. No subdue finished out by cattle. Not yet, at least. Ancestral, blessed, uh, commandeer, slowing sands, and ardent defender. I'm sorry, I, just, I was looking at Kira, he's just standing there just throwing out Ragnarok missiles and Annihilation just right into the fort. Uh, Steel Trap connects on to Liam. There's going to be a cleanse immediately, I think, I think from uh, Legacy, as we do have the Slowing Sand zoning back Brandon, who does 
Want to try to put some pressure onto the enemy. Cattle does have that Punisher still pushing up the top lane. Riptire from Breakwood in the mid fight as the light bomb from Anduin. There's the Ardent Defender. Good Righteous Hammer. Liam's able to get away with the help of a Concussion Mine. Big Blessed Shield as Cattle's rotated into the bottom lane. There's, here's Liam. I'm killing them all. I'm kill, oh, maybe he's not. Maybe he's not. Maybe he is. No, he is. No, he's not. Yes, he is. <laughs> Retro will be the only viable gaming category once the blockchain NFT decentralized. What? <laughs> I didn't sleep enough last night. I I don't I don't, I don't <laughs> none of that makes sense to me. I just looked at the bet, the payout. If 30k loses this map, if by if if 30k loses this map. The person that bet for Imagine to win, it's a 1 to 592 payout. <laughs> uh, Liam Moharth out of top lane right next to the wave. He is showing in this hearth. That is a big thing to note. He showed through that hearth. Does get the experience from the two uh, minions that did die right next to him. Uh, but that does give him mana and everything. And 13 talent here soon for the side of uh, 30k. Curse bolt into the face of somebody, but that's so much damage. You can only leap of faith one at this time, and Breakwood will be the save from for Zadie. Don't think Brandon's gonna be able to make it out of this one. He dwarf tosses. Uh, that's pretty much, I think, the last bit of his mana. Legacy chasing in here, slowing totem. Yeah. Okay. Four to two in kills. Tychus and Chromie pushing up mid as the Mortar Punisher will be next. Oh yeah, by the way, there it is. The 30k is, it's uh, if if it, if the 30k uh, BTTV emote wasn't working before, just refresh the stream or refresh your chat and it will be there. Uh, Liam getting a free fort in top. Cool. So I just want to make sure that the 30k thing started working. Thanks again, Rob, for uploading that so we can, uh, we can have that here. Look at your L, look at your L, looking for something here. Waiting in the bush. There's a time stop. It's gonna be slow, so yeah, it's movement speed. Still, still, okay. All right, Urel just jumps over, looking to invade the camp on the right-hand side. I don't, did Hogger see Urel? Yeah, okay, they did. All right, pull this down really quickly. We actually saw uh, Gilnean cocktail build yesterday in the uh, the matches we were casting. I think it was uh, too many geese. Too many geese was going uh, Gilnean cocktail build, which we rarely ever see. Brandon scouted out in the flank. Steel trap thrown into the bush. Ooh, we have the big as. We have the big as. All righty. So it's gonna prioritize heroes. I think we also have Sticky Wicket, but let's talk, let's talk about the Commandeer Odin. Big spin from the Hogger. Looks like he might have that perfect spin to be able to get a lot of these Skeletal Defenders, but it still is halfway and more for the side of 30k as they are looking to take down more of these Skeletal Defenders. Ooh, Riptire from Junkrat. Immediately eaten by this by the uh, Iron Skin of Joanna. And Madara dumping in damage in the back line. 10 Skeletal Defenders to go for the side of 30k, and they should get this Punisher. Now look at Urel, look at Urel. She's got a Righteous Hammer, but is there follow-up damage? Doesn't look like it. Rooted and silenced, I think, at Legacy, right? Yeah, because you have the Sticky Wicket for that two-second silence. But Yorel still uh, pushing things around in top lane as we have the Punisher through mid. Thank you, Baha, for telling me. Ah, my pleasure, my pleasure. As I said, like to always support the uh, the communities and teams as best we can. A lot of damage into Bra Brandon jumps over the wall like, haha, I'm going to get away, and then Yorel was right there. <laughs> Oh, man. God, it just Liam on Yorel is just absolutely ridiculous. I mean, he's... He's in deep right now. As the Punisher was working on the keep and the rest of the, uh, the allies were still working on the uh, keep front gate. Cattle rotates to bottom. Huge wave in this bottom, actually. This should be the bottom lane fort to fall. The... Uh, the range minions, sorry, I was just blanking on the name. I was like, the spear minions, I'm like, that's not right. But anyway, the range minions are dealing so much damage into that fort. And this will be bottom lane keep front gate opened up as well. 
if the next Punisher is this lane, getting this opened up will be really beneficial. And it is the next Punisher lane. Commandeer Odin committed by uh, Cure. 16 talent to your advantage. A level and a half lead to the side of 30k. Brandon slowed by the slowing sands. Cure backing up a little bit. Does have a pretty decent range on the Commandeer Odin. I think it's like a... We always look at this and I always forget. It's like a 9 range? Ah, oh, well it went away and of course the moment I wanted to check it, but either way. Still out range of structures. Ooh, wait, time stop on to Breakwood. Trying to get away, Concussion Mine. That's not the direction she wants to go and Breakwood goes down. 30k, looking to make another kill happen here. Zadie's the new target. Time stop on to two and Zadie will fall. Brandon trying to back away. Urel with the flank onto the Greymane. And that should be Greymane going down. My assumption is this is keep and core. Maybe it's not, actually. There's a little bit of a focus here onto Brandon. It might still just be keep and core at this point, though. Liam's position would lead me to believe, but... We'll have to see. We'll have to see. Alright, it's not. We're gonna go ahead and see uh, camps to be grabbed across the bottom of the map. I guess mid and... mid and bottom. Dwarf V5. Poor Muradin. Poor Muradin. Just, uh, could, just couldn't make it happen. Uh, as a reminder, this is a double elimination bracket, so if uh, Imagine does fall here, they're not out of the qualifier potential just yet. They still drop to the lower bracket. If you'd like to follow along with the bracket or take a look at it, exclamation bracket in chat. If you'd like to donate towards the GoFundMe, you can use the exclamation HI in chat. <laughs> no juicing this time. All right, uh, Frozen Punisher could be the final Punisher of this uh, Battlefield of Eternity, excuse me, this Infernal Shrines map. We do have the uh, 16 talent tier for Imagine, so there is at least that equal equal footing for now, but it is uh, qu three quarters of a level, uh, less than that, for the members of 30k to get to their 20 talent tier. Commandeer Odin, no big red button, but still shredding through the skeletal defenders. Urel jumps in, there's a curse bullet from Greymane. Hogger in the back line with the shock uh, shockwave, but still that's that's a triple kill for the side of 30k. They might make it a quadra kill here very, very soon with Brandon uh, getting low, slow from cattle. Nice, nice, nice grenade from uh, Tychus. Slows will be enough. To allow Fatal Rampage to back away, maybe? Excuse me. No, <laughs> another grenade from Tychus. Frozen Punisher summoned. Brandon, the lone defender. Just, just go back door of the core. Just get through bottom lane fort, bottom lane keep, and go core, Brandon. You got that, right? Oh, uh, he's gonna he's gonna focus on the immortal, but the core is already getting shredded. Legacy? I think Legacy was thinking about going and fighting Muradin. Oh. <laughs> well, Ladies and gentlemen, map number two will be going over to the side of 30k. A fairly dominant first best of three of the day. 30k looking extremely strong here as they will continue their ride through the upper bracket. GG.